Today I'm talking about a popular hike in Coeur d'Alene, Tubbs Hill. If you have spent any time at McEwen Park in downtown Coeur d'Alene, then you have probably heard of Tubbs Hill or noticed the signs around the park. In this video, I am going to do an overview of the trail itself, including how to get there and what to expect. And at the end, I'm going to talk a little bit about why it's called Tubbs Hill. My sister gave me this cute little hiking book when we bought our house out here last year. So I'm going to give credit where credit is due and read directly from the book to tell you more about this hike. Tubbs Hill is a peninsula extending into Lake Coeur d'Alene. The Tubbs Hill natural area offers 160 acres of undeveloped parkland in the heart of Lake City, aka Coeur d'Alene. Despite development attempts by many early land speculators, local citizens and organizations have protected the park over decades. Numerous trails link a variety of viewpoints and beaches. The southern portion of the trail described here offers sensational lake views and a sense of isolation. The route goes through a mixed coniferous forests of ponderosa pines and douglas fir with wildflowers such as glacier lilies, lupines, mock orange, and balsam root throughout the hike. Deer and wild turkeys frequent the area. In summer, look for ospreys perched in the trees. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, I am new in North Idaho. My husband and I packed our bags and moved from Washington State to Coeur d'Alene this past winter, and I'm using this channel as a place to document what it's like living here in North Idaho. On this channel, I do videos on all sorts of things from community events, hikes, more information that are like informational videos on Idaho, Idaho in general. If you want to see more content, you can pop over to my blog, which is at letsgonorthidaho.com. I have shorter posts on there about things that might not take really a whole YouTube video to share about. Also, if you are ready to start looking at houses, check out my home search website. That is searchhomesnorthidaho.com. I'll put a link to both my blog and the home search website in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell on for notifications so that you don't miss a video. Tubbs Hill is an unpaved trail of about two miles right in the heart of downtown Coeur d'Alene. The trail is in good shape and is pretty even, but would be difficult for a stroller. The elevation gain is 190 feet, so be ready for some uphill. Also, you know those little kitty backpack leashes? You might want something like that if you are bringing any itty bitties out there on the trail. There are some steep drop-offs. I trusted my six-year-old on the trail, but if I had brought my four-year-old along, I would have been more nervous about her ability to stay on the trail and not tumble down the hillside occasionally. If you are going to check it out and want to know how to get there, just put McEwen Park into your GPS. I think everyone has a GPS now. If you do not have a GPS, I've made a handy dandy flyer for you with a map, so you can just use the link in the description down below to get that. Anyways, you can park at McEwen Park. This is a parking lot you have to pay for, but it's like a dollar an hour, so it's not a huge deal. Once you are at the park, look for signs that say main trail or main loop trail. These signs circumnavigate the trail and are going to help you get started. The main trailhead is at the southwest corner of McEwen Park near the 3rd Street boat ramp. The first half mile of the main trail offers views of Lake Coeur d'Alene and Cougar Bay. Along the trail, there are also access trails to beaches and uphill spur trails. The next half mile as you are on the south facing side of Tubbs Hill offers views of the lake beyond Arrow Point in the distance. Halfway into the hike, you will see views of Sanders Beach and some of the early 1900s waterfront homes. If you want to extend the hike, you can explore the upper trail and the summit trail. At the top of the summit trail, you can see Mount Spokane to the west and enjoy Tubbs Hill's best view of downtown Coeur d'Alene. So, why is Tubbs Hill called Tubbs Hill? It was named in the late 19th century after Tony Tubbs, who was granted a homestead in 1884. He owned a hotel at the base of the hill and planned to build homes on the hill. The topography of Tubbs Hill made it not great for building, and the land remained undeveloped. In the 1960s, preservationists successfully made Tubbs Hill part of the city of Coeur d'Alene's park system. I'm linking a cool article in the description down below that gives more information on this Tony Tubbs fellow, so check that out in the description. The article gives an interesting snippet that I'm just going to read to you word for word, but I encourage you to check out the whole thing if this is something that interests you. So here we go, direct quotes. Tony Tubbs was a prominent figure in the late 1800s in Coeur d'Alene. Tubbs was a land salesman, a hotel owner, and a justice of the peace during his time in the area. In 1884, Tubbs bought 138 acres of land next to Lake Coeur d'Alene. A popular sales method for land plots in mostly undeveloped areas is to assume the buyer has not and might not see it before purchase and describe it to them as if it is flat land ready to be built on or to plot it out as if it is an ideal settlement spot. 
Tubbs did just that. He platted it out for multiple residential neighborhoods and peddled it to unfamiliar settlers. Some of the details he did not mention were that the hill was solid rock and would be unable to be built on with the tools available in the late 1800s. Also, the change in elevation from the base of the hill to the top is over 375 feet on an 8 to 30 degree grade. Oh, and if you are interested in getting your own copy of this great Urban Trails book, I have also linked that down below in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will be back next week with another video.